Hi, this is The Business Guy. The benefit of opening a Swiss account is with a Swiss account, you're dealing with some of the strongest, safest banks in the world, according to the annual global finance study of the world's safest banks. And when your Swiss account is owned by your own Cook Islands Asset Protection Trust, a lawsuit against you is not able to seize those assets. No US court, no UK, Canadian, and Australian court of law for that matter, can seize assets held in a Swiss account that you hold in your own Cook Islands Trust. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated on all things finance. And today we're diving into the world of Swiss bank accounts and Cook Islands Trusts, a combo that might sound like a James Bond movie plot, but in reality is a fascinating aspect of international finance. So why listen to me? As attorneys on staff, we've set up thousands of offshore accounts and more Cook Islands Trusts than anyone in the world. Let's get into it. When we talk about Swiss bank accounts, we're not just discussing a cliche from spy movies. Switzerland has long been synonymous with banking, security, and privacy. Why is that? Well, it all started back in 1934 with the Swiss Banking Act, which made it illegal for banks to disclose the identities of account holders. Fast forward to today, and although the rules have slightly changed, the legacy continues. Swiss banks are known for their stability, privacy, and robustness. In fact, according to the Swiss Bankers Association, Switzerland managed 27% of all global crossed border assets in 2020. You know, people hear things on the news or in movies and get misconceptions about Swiss banks. For example, UBS, Switzerland's largest bank, was fined $788 million in 2009 after a Justice Department investigation determined that they helped American clients hide taxable assets. Credit Suisse, then the second largest bank in the country, pled guilty five years later, paying a massive $2.6 billion fine for similar practices. And because they had branches in the United States, it made them an easy target because both of those banks had U.S. based assets. So U.S. authorities could simply say, cough up the information over in Switzerland or we will find your U.S. branches $1 million a day until you do. This led to two myths. Number one, Swiss banks don't have privacy anymore. And number two, Swiss banks don't open accounts for U.S. people anymore. Both of these are not completely true. Swiss banks still protect the privacy of its depositors, but the Swiss government does not allow their banks to participate in tax evasion. So the banks are transparent to the taxing agencies. Number two, many banks will not open accounts for US people or Canadians for that matter, but because we've been doing business in Switzerland for nearly 20 years, we have connections with Swiss banks that will open accounts for our clients as long as they agree to fully report the account for tax purposes and that the funds come from a legally obtained source. After all, somebody has to pay for the radar. So now that we've cleared up those misconceptions, why do people from all over the globe flock to Swiss banks? Well, besides chocolate and watches, Switzerland is known for its political and economic stability. And with banks like Zurich or Cantonal Bank and Bank Cantonale Vaudoise ranking among the world's strongest, it's no wonder that people feel their money is safe there. Okay, now let's hop over to paradise in the South Pacific, the Cook Islands. Apart from its breathtaking views, the Cook Islands is a jurisdiction famed for its asset protection protection trusts. But what does this mean? Essentially, when you set up a trust there, your assets are placed under the protection of a trustee company law firm who is legally bound to manage them for your benefit. Our organization has, and I personally have, been setting up trusts in the Cook Islands for 28 years and have set up more Cook Islands trusts than anyone in the world. This setup provides a robust legal barrier, both according to my personal experience and according to a study by Offshore Protection. Cook Islands trusts have withstood numerous legal challenges. In simple terms, if someone sues you back in the United States or in any other country of the world for that matter, these trusts offer a shield to protect your assets. So what happens when you combine the Swiss bank account security with the legal protection of the Cook Islands trusts? Well, you get a financial fortress. Okay, let's break it down. Your assets sit safely in the world's strongest bank in Switzerland, but they are owned by your trust in the Cook Islands. This means that even if a US court or an aggressive law firm wants to seize those assets, they face a tough battle. They'd have to navigate not just US law, 
but Swiss and Cook Islands regulations too. And that's a legal labyrinth that would make even Theseus sweat. By the way, Theseus was a strong dude in Greek mythology. U.S. courts say, give me the money. And our trusty law firm in the Cook Islands says, no, not going to. You don't have jurisdiction down here. And it's not just theory. We've set up thousands of trusts and we have never seen one client lose money from a Swiss account housed inside of our Cook Islands. Islands trusts. So a Swiss account inside of a Cook Islands trust is like having a bank vault, but the key is in a fortress on an island surrounded by sharks, figuratively speaking, of course. Now it's crucial to remember with great power comes great responsibility. While this setup can offer incredible asset protection, it's important to navigate the legal and ethical considerations. Tax evasion, big no-no. Illegally obtained funds, don't even call us. We only protect what is to the best of our knowledge, legally and ethically obtained funds from people who pay their taxes. It's all about staying within the legal framework. So transparency with tax authorities and compliance with international regulations are the key. Plus, you'll sleep a lot better at night. You might be thinking, is this for me? Well, if you're someone with significant assets or concerned about lawsuits or asset seizure, this could be an option. But remember, it's not for everyone. It requires a certain level of wealth and the willingness to navigate the process, which is where we come in. And that's a wrap on Swiss accounts and Cook Islands trusts. It's a fascinating world, isn't it? Remember, financial decisions are deeply personal and should be made with careful consideration and professional advice. So visit assetprotectionplanners.com for more free information and reach out to speak with one of our attorneys or consultants. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more finance insights. Until next time, keep your assets safe and your investment savvy. This is The Business Guy.